Sunday morning at Sandali Park, and look at the speeds they're carrying this sand track. Welcome to the 2007 Canadian Motocross Championships. This is round eight, Sandali MX Park, just outside of the nation's capital in Ottawa, Ontario. Brian Gold, Mark Charles, and Brian Coster. Brian, it's championship day. Things are heating up, MX2 East, and we've got a hot battle for third place. It really is hot, guys, out there. Uh, Willard's in first, his teammate Trombley's in second. They got big gaps, so they're pretty safe right there. But the battle for third is heating up. Freddy Carly up from Georgia, he's right in there. We've got Jacob Saylor, we've got Jay Burke, we've got the homeboy Tyler Medaglia. And in time practice this morning, those guys were within a half a second of each other. So when the gate drops, man, it's gonna be carnage. And that third place here in the Canadian East Coast Championship is a very prestigious place to uh, finish. And that has a lot to do with next year's sponsorship. You better believe it. And if, Willard, be hot. and if Willard wins today, that'll be back. Not back to back, but two championships for him in this class. And he was looking fast. Goldie, let's get to the MX1 class. Of course, Paul Carpenter on that Monster Energy Sunix Kawasaki. He's got the championship just about wrapped up, but that battle for second place is intense. Yeah, Pauly has a good first motor, but we're most likely going to be giving him the number one plate today, which kind of sucks for the end of the series. But behind him, Gibson, Fasciati, and Dubé, four points separate him from the number two spot. You get to see Dubé out there, you know, the whole Canadian thing. And then behind him, Wa, after his miss of some rounds, is battling with Mason Phillips for the number five plate. So there's some little battles going on. And the way the track is set up, it could be a good way to finish the series. Well, let's talk about that track. Sandily, of course, sand everywhere we see it, but there's that clay base underneath, a little different from what we've seen before. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit different than Gopher Dudes. doesn't get those real high rollers, a little more choppy sections, but I'll tell you what, very, very fast. The turns right now aren't setting up like usually. They're kind of coming in and knifing back and then the other odd turn is kind of coming in and drifting really wide. So the guys that are kind of patient and ginger on that gas, keep that rear tire digging in and on that back position, the guys are coming out on top. And uh, those are the guys that are going to have some fun today. Yeah, you better believe it. And it is championship day. What more can we ask for? Whatever steps you're taking to impress your partner, Erectile dysfunction get in the way. Viagra. Viagra, America's most prescribed ED treatment, can help you enjoy a more satisfying sexual experience. To learn more, take a spin around Viagra.com. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Don't take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain, as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects may include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease in vision or hearing. Now's the time to take the lead. Ask your doctor if Viagra is right for you. Oh, no, 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 no. We're out of ink. It's Dell Inc. Um, um, cancel the meeting. Um, no, postpone the meeting. Forget lunch. We don't need to eat. I, I, back off, people. I need room to think. Ah, help, people! We're going down. Code Red. Great news. You can get any Dell Inc. at Staples, plus toner, printers, and more. Code Red. Oh, Dell Inc. And save over 20% on Dell Inc. when you use Staples Rewards and Recycle. That was easy. I'm comfortable in my new ride. I'm comfortable in my new number. I'm comfortable in Wrangler. Get comfortable with great-looking jeans, shirts, and shorts from Wrangler Jeans Company. A new generation of Wrangler. New fits. New styles. Great comfort. Wrangler Jeans Company, a new generation of Wrangler. After three of four MX2, Willard out front, but look at the battle for third between those four riders. Fitzgerald on the outside looking in. 
He's got a dark shot at it. But the big boys, after seven of nine, of course, Carpenter can clinch today. Loving that battle for a second. Coleman's in seventh. Keith's in ninth. And Blair Morgan in tenth. Let's go out on the track right now with Golden in the Scott Helmet Cam. Fabulous. Thanks, Travis. Yeah. Here comes Goldie on that white machine Yamaha round turn two. On the gas here, a real sweet turning tabletop. Lots of passes made here. The guys can jump inside to outside. Big, wide, sweeping corners here. Track workers got bales out here in the morning practice to try and create some extra lines. Deep, sandy soil here, a little rise, just to kind of throw the guys off and another quick shoot into a 90-degree bend. Again, high bank on the outside. All these corners have flow. You can sweep around. A little small tabletop. Get down early. Plant the gas big time to clear this huge tabletop. The guys that come up short bounce. The guys that don't land smooth can get in that corner quicker but can make a block pass. Through the tree line, shifting up. Really cool back here in the back 40 of Santa Lee. Lots of changes to this track over the years. Sweet table here, you land, turn. I love this section. Two singles, one single there, get down. And the next one, you jump right off of the compression landing from the first one. So guys just soar out of there. Lots of passing here because inside, outside again, and block passing into the famous rhythm section. Lots of ways of hitting this, but I'll tell you what, once these guys get to race speeds, it gets scary at best. We're gonna see guys getting sideways like crazy. This corner has a real hard kind of clay underneath, so a lot of wheel spin as they accelerate up to the finish line. Ryan Gold does a fabulous job for us. You're gonna see some great racing here at MX 101 Send and Lee. Three rock and roll stars on the line. Let's get set for MX2 action. High school heroes are usually made on the field, but this February, they'll be made in shop class. Each one of us will be building a drag car. Two schools, two cars, one race. Winner takes the car. There's no chance that we're going to lose. Loser takes the bus. The entire school just kind of got behind the project. <laughs> Meet the new breed of high school hero. This, to me, is better than any football game I've ever seen. Drag Race High premieres Wednesday night, 10 Eastern, 11 Pacific, on speed. This speed presentation is brought to you by Shell. Shell gasoline stock gunky buildup in your engine. Shell, made to move. We're not getting out. So we've proven Shell gasoline stops gunky buildup on critical engine parts that low quality discount gasoline can leave behind. Where's the next rest stop? Do you have? No. Go fish? Look, Shell gasoline stop gunky buildup, helping your car to perform at its best. So you ready for another 5,000 miles? Yeah. Can we clean up first? Now, clean up the gunk inside your car, too, with collectible microfiber cleaning cloths. Free with a minimum 10-gallon purchase at Shell. This is the only outboard engine in the world that needs no scheduled maintenance for three years. It needs no break-in period, no valve or belt adjustments, no oil changes ever. You can even winterize it without going to the dealer. It's what this engine doesn't need that gives you everything you need. E-Tech from Evinrude. 300 hours, no scheduled maintenance. Day in and day out, they're the most reliable engine I've ever seen. It puts excitement back in the boat. Call or go online now and see how you can take advantage of valuable promotional offers when you buy the E-Tech of your choice. Then, get the most talked about DVD in the boating world free. See why Evinrude E-Techs outperform the competition in power, performance, reliability, cost of ownership, and more. The DVD is yours free, so call or go online now. Evan Rude E-Tech. Spend more time on the water. Welcome back to the Sandily MX Park just outside of Richmond, Ontario. A great shot of number 781, Jeremy Medaglia, and that MX 101 crew. Jeremy is an intermediate rider sitting inside the top 10 in the MX2 class. And this MX2 mobile is brought to you by FMF. Can you feel the power? The lovely Tasha with the Monster 30 board up. As we look back to the line, Michael Willard with an inside gate pick. Nick Evanu with the most inside gate pick. Boys funneling down on the line, and the gate is down. Brian coming to that big left hander. Who's going to get that whole shoot? Oh, my goodness. Big pile up. Big pile up early on. Willard leans in. Yes, and he takes it away from Evanu. So he gets that royal distributing hold shot. Look at the carnage down right here. Look at this. 
Oh my goodness, there's like eight, nine guys. Ryan Gold, one of them right there. That intermediate runner just does a big loose right over his bike too. Goldie looks dejected. A lot of our third place contenders were in that pile up. I saw Sailor in there. I saw Carly in there. I saw yes. Burke in there. Wow. Travel all over the field. What a way to start the moto. Some of our key players out, Travers. This is definitely gonna open the door for Tyler Medaglia, though he didn't get the greatest start either. He did not at all, but look at number 39, Nick Evno. A great weekend last weekend in Moncton. Took the overall. I love that English over the jump. Get back down to the power on the ground to the Scott Lockoff cam. You're right. Evno rides with a lot of body English and movement. Very aggressive when he's on the bike. You definitely know he's working. Tim Trombley, though, he's a key player. He's got second in points almost locked down he's got a great start here the boys are coming through we're gonna have to see where some of those other few guys are looks like sailor has regrouped as well carly also making his way around the track how about the start for number 129 fred roy local boy he was a hot show a couple years ago been privateering great start for him love the battle for first place but ryan blizzard number 134 like oh did you see medaglia square up on the outside line <laughs> Oh, and he's just ricocheting off everything. And again, he only lives about a half hour from here, Trap. So he practices here. Knows the inside outside lines well. Really impressed with Ryan Blizzard. First year in the pro ranks on that number 134 Kawasaki. Wasn't sure how he was gonna do. He's well, actually looks like he's riding maybe a little over his head, but really impressed with his speed. This is huge experience for him. Blizzard has great flow in the sand. I like him at Gopher Dunes, and I like him on Sandy Lee. Oh. Ainsworth on the outside of number 781. Medaglia <laughs> takes care of sixth place. Ainsworth finished seventh at Southwick this year. Brian in the lights class, he's a speedster. Obviously a good sand rider. These tracks do have parallels. Sandy Lee and Southwick. Look at Tyler Medaglia now for fourth. <laughs> Finally makes his move. Well, Blizzard, Blizzard's held him off for quite some time. Gives him a little elbow into the rhythm section. And they're taking different lines in the rhythm section. Blizzard with the advantage. Can you believe young Ryan Blizzard passes Tyler Medaglia back on his home track? I love how wide that track is, but it comes into that inside line in the left-hander. And the left hand is the best one. Blizzard got out in front to our leader, number 11, Michael Willard. Evner was not giving up the goat. He is right behind him. Only a scant second. Let's get back to the battle for fourth place. Blizzard's still in fourth, and here comes Medaglia. This is the battle right now. Roost out here. Not a factor as far as pain goes, but a factor as far as goggles go. This wet sand will stick to the goggles. Oh, Nathan Bosler slides out of 11th on the gas here. On the inside, there's not really a berm to hold you in, so a bit of flat track on the inside. Good berm on the outside. Number 952, Freddie Carley, now riding by that Ocean Transport Rockstar team up to 23rd. Brian, let's see if he can get a few points back in this photo to our lead. Number 11, Michael Willard, cannot shake off the advances of 39, Nick Avenue. That guy's on a tear, coming back from a great weekend last weekend in Moncton. Oh, the crisscross, Brian. Willard on the outside, does Evano have him? Oh, a little bit of contact, and Evano's in the lead. Great pass by Evano on that black from Yamaha. But right now, Willard is in the hunt for the points championship. Evano virtually had no points after the first two rounds, so Willard doesn't have to push too hard here. He can kind of sit back and enjoy the show, but I don't know if Michael Willard shouldn't do that. Well, the way that Willard rides out there, he's got a lot of pride. He doesn't want to lose to Nick Evno. He wants to beat everybody in the field in every single moto, regardless of whether he's got that championship locked up. Brian, let's get back to the pass, because I love the approach from Evano. He comes in hot as blazes, comes in and just shoves Willard out of the berm. Willard wanted that little line there. Evano just says, no, it does the look back. That is very insulting for a rider. So Willard, I think you're right. I don't think he's going to settle for second here. He wants to push. Now, how about the battle for 31st? 48, Boo Green on the inside and 520. Tony Gallo on the outside. Battles all over the track to the lead in that roller section. Brian coming into the big right-hand sweeper. I tell you, Willard's not giving it up. Oh, no, oh. trouble. has got a problem. His actual triple clamp is broken. His hook and his handlebars are broke right off there. He crashed in the rhythm section, went into the trees. That's a DNF for him, so points are tightening up as is the lead battle. Willard all over it. You're right, Travers. There is pride on the line with a crisscross up to the tabletop. This is awesome battling here. Evano with the check off there. He loses the lead, Brian. He did come into that corner very hot. He looks like he's backed it down a little. I'm very surprised at that, although I still love the way he rides the bike in the sand, especially when we're talking about with the little bike. You really have to massage them around the track. You gotta push hard out here in the sand on the smaller bike. Ainsworth in fifth is taking care of Blizzard.
Lewis and Blizzard, though, hanging tough, and you can see the different options through there. Really cool. And Tyler Medaglia now, Travis, he is solid in third, all alone in the back section on that Rockstar Suzuki with Ocean Transportation being the lead sponsor. Look at young Jerry Medaglia on that Yamaha on the inside, taking care of Blizzard. Wow, Brian, very impressed with that young rider this year. He will be turning pro in 08. He's certainly coming into his own, has raised a lot of attention for him and his brother, Tyler, they are a hot commodity right now, and rumors are they're testing with one of the factories, so we'll see where they end up next year. What a great motor for number 44, Trevor Hall. That's Machines Trevor Hall on the inside through the triple, but he's got Ainsworth all over him. Billy's been up and down, Brian, and he looks like he's got fourth. No, Hall holding him off to our leader, number 11, Michael Willard, on his final approach, just backing it down, having a look for Evan o, making sure he's clean up to those checkers as he rolls over and takes the checker flag and wins the first MX2 moto. And with that win, he clinches the MX2 East title for the second time. Great ride for Trevor Hall in fifth place. Karen Fitzgerald eighth. Got to like Mark Antoine Genereau from that first turn pile up. Rode like a madman tonight. A man in obvious pain, number 39, Nick Avenue, who ride a great race, finished second in that first MX2 moto. Nick, you had the lead there for a while. Battle back to second, but you look like you're disgruntled. What's wrong? Um, I'm really disappointed. Um, I felt like, you Michael know, the first half of the race, I was with Michael, I actually passed him for the lead. I was riding real aggressive, you know, my hat's off to him. He's riding unbelievable. You know, I can't take anything away from him, but uh, about, right. I don't know, know three quarters away through the race, coming up. I looked I at my glove, like, halfway, and I looked at it, and it was friends. just covered in blood. And it was kind of like carbon copy of Moncton all over again. And I kind of just held on for dear life. I was using, like, the side of my hand, the clutch and everything. And I mean, I'm glad, you know, I get my team up on the podium and everything, but I'm really disappointed with my results. Michael Willard on the podium, clinches his second MX2 East title, MX1's coming up. Our motto is that others may live. Steph Sergeant Ivan Ruiz, Paris came in the United States Air Force. I learned about the shop, I think, when I was a sophomore in high school, and uh, that's pretty much it. I was fortunate enough to uh, do some work in uh, Katrina. It's a pretty good feeling. Obviously, we don't get any trophies here. You know, that's not what it's about for us. The best thing about my job is my brothers. That's why I'm here. See more videos at DoSomethingAmazing.com. I want to be home. I mean a new home. Now's a great time to buy a home. Remax.com shows you all the listings in thousands of cities and towns so you can find your perfect place. <laughs> Nobody sells more real estate than Remax. 12 summers of boat hauling. Six minutes to soccer practice. 63 miles of commuting daily. For any extreme from the road to the racetrack. Nothing beats Mobile One, the official motor oil of NASCAR, and the choice of over half of all NASCAR teams. So put some NASCAR in your car with the one, Mobile One. Privateer number 46, Julian Cerny and the MX1 boys on the line. Let's go track side with Goldie. Well, here at MX1, Moto One, Paul Carpenter has 80 points. If he ends with 75 at the end of this, the title will go to him with three motos remaining. Keep an eye on the one-on-one, -on -one, boys, and the rest of those key players looking to chase him down. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Okay, here we go. The big boys are on the line, and this moto will be brought to you by Extreme Motocross Apparel, MX1 point. 450cc four strokes. These babies can push the sand around. <laughs> Tash has got the 30 board up. Boys are focusing on the line. This is where all the pins and needles happen. Tasha goes to five. Let's go back to that line. Focus down on the gate. A great shot. Heads are down. The gate is down, Brian. Coming in that first quarter. Who's going to get that roll? The Jimmy Golden. At least no crashes so far. That's a good thing. Cole Fasciati, he puts the gas on. He gets that roll. Screaming, oh, shit. Yeah, I thought that. Black foot. Direct box reaching Yamaha. How about the start for number 84? That's Joseph Rose on the KTM. And number 102, Jeff Gibson with a familiar good start. Number three, Blair Morgan looking good. And uh -oh. Gray Davenport has an awesome start in four. Walk gets tangled up. Walker gets tangled up. Carpenter funnels through. But yes, Gibson has been getting amazing starts this whole second half of the season. Team manager Billy Whitley's just lit a fire up under his butt. He is on it. How about one of our MX2 West favorites, number 20, Kyle Beaton on the big bike 
this weekend. He's up in the top five. Boys starting to separate as they get to the triple in the Scott Lockoff cam. See the top guys clearing that triple, no problem. But as he moved back, a little more cautious. Some guys not quite doing it on the first lap, letting things separate a bit. Right now, Wah, fifth, Carpenter just outside the top ten. Bastiani pulling away on the Monster Energy bike of Gibson right now, but the battle for third Travis is getting tense through the rhythms. John Sebastian Wah has slipped by number 29, Gray Davenport, you're right up into fourth place. Okay, here we go, Bastiani, three or four seconds back to Gibson. Blair Morgan on a charge on the outside, and the Panther, John Sebastian Wah, is down on the bike in fourth place. <laughs> the speeds that are reached on this track are huge. You see Wah just bouncing off the edge of the track, using it all to his advantage. Oh, there's the Man Mountain, as you call Drew Clay from Alberta, a big beef eaten boy. Coming out riding for the Rockstar team this weekend, nice pickup for that. That privateer rider to number three Blair Morgan and his arch nemesis John Sebastian Wah on the outside of this roller section Brian remember coming into this right hander a lot of options let's check it Fasciati in the lead looks like he's starting to pull away let's get back to Gibson in second and John Sebastian Wah goes inside and takes third place for Blair Morgan. shut the door on Blair but Blair's on it through the rhythm section this is reminiscent Whoa. of years gone by the battles between Wah and Davenport oh, oh, huge oh, get off for home oh, his oh, bike oh, gets mowed we saw Davenport with a big flat track slide before the rhythm carnage everywhere this is eighth place slipping by look at all the riders going by him Simon get going he's going to be outside the top 20 by the time he gets uh, things fired up you can see how violent that crash was with the speeds that they carry on yeah. this track ride it is wide there are options and guys are on the pipe to the battle for seventh clearbrook yamaha's number 20 kyle Bean looking good but he's got paul carpenter all over him doesn't profess to like the sam bryan but he looks good out here Quite impressed with Kyle Beaton on the big bike. He had all kinds of trouble here last year, but remaining poised in front of Carpenter for now. Number 102, Jeff Gibson with some heavy pressure from Wah for second place. Wah goes inside, makes the pass. Brian, this track is so wide, there are options. That's one of JSR's favorite places to pass. That's where we got Blair Morgan as well. Now, Jeff Northrup rallies around the outside of Davenport. This is for fifth place. Look at this style on Northrup. He's got the advantage now. Can he make it stick? Look how rough the track is getting to. This is early in the second moto. Things are getting bumpy. NorCal solid fifth right now. Great pickup for Gibor Kawasaki to get Northrup for the last two rounds as we get the Homans back on the bike for 18th, going wide with number 23, Ian Hayden, back on the KTM team after a snowcross injury. Remember Hayden last year when he had the lead in the MF2 class on this racetrack? threw it away in one of the berms, but a solid rider and a great starter. Here comes Holman, so he needs those points big time. Brian, I love the way the KTM team and Andy White sticks with their guys. Hayden with an injury comes back late in the season. An awesome feeling for a rider to that section that you like. Step up, step down. I like that jump land truck. Kyle Keyes, number 30, right behind Carpenter, is having a fantastic photo of that machine. Honda riding spectacularly well. We know he's a sand specialist. Now, Jean Sebastian Wall has made it all up on Fasciati here into the second half of the moto. Two Toyota Yamahas battling it out. Look at the wheelie on Wah. Dives up the inside. Travers Collins. Whoa, a little problem for Bassiotti. And Wah goes outside. This is definitely the battle we wanted to see. Wah taking the lead on a section of the track that shows experience, Brian. That tunnel jump. We've got options inside and outside. These riders are pushing so hard. You can see the head shake on these bikes. Things are getting hectic underneath the riders. Morgan with a great sneaky line. Finds that smooth real estate around the outside. He's on a move right now. Back, I know you like this guy right here, Andy Matthew, number 24. Him and Hayden duking it out. A great battle for 15th, Brian. You're right, Andy Matthew, number 24, East Coast American guy. Loves to come up to Canada. It's great to see him up here battling inside the top 20. Morgan and Gibson disappear into the trees. Comes back. Morgan's ahead. So now Blair Morgan in third place. This is the Blair Morgan of old. I'm loving it. He's had the most dreadful season. He cannot buy a break. Now he's sitting in podium contention. Three Blackfoot Hondas, one, two, three. As we get back to number four, Simon Holmans making it up on the B-52 bike of Brady Sharon, and that is for 15th spot. Good ride for Simon Holmans. Now Blair Morgan's got his head down. Big oh. time over oh. Fasciotti to take second. There was a lapper in there. They pulled roll off of it. Blair Morgan was just possessed railing the outside of that sand berm. But it was that outside line and the speed that he carried, Brian, that, that gave him that pass. Boy, there was nothing stopping him there. Oh. Get out of the way, because the Blair Morgan freight train is coming to town. And we know how aggressive Blair can be. When he makes his mind up about a pass, man, he is taking it, and he doesn't mind contact at all. I'm close and personal with number 101.
what Paulie Carpenter, there's Keaston six as Carpenter finishes where he is, he will be crowned champion. Number two, John Sebastian Wall in the lead. Carpenter and Keaston freight training their way through the pack right now, but oh no, number three, Blair Morgan with another bike problem. He's off the track. He was in second place for crying out loud. Poor Blair Morgan, this is costing him a lot of money this year, not just points. There's great money for these podium spots to just get taken away from him. Teammate number 10, Colton Fasciotti with the Morgan problem, moves up into second place, getting ready to take his last lap flag, Brian. He's worn a pretty solid moto today. JSR showing dominance of old here at Sandalee with a great ride on that Toyota Yamaha. Well deserved for the five-time champ. That's two out of three moto wins since he's been back, Brian. He is on top of the world right now, riding really well and very well conditioned. Thinking about the break, all oh, to number three, Blair Morgan, as he watches his teammate, number 10, Golden Fastiati, take the checkered flag and finish in second place. Beginning Tuesday, check out the season premiere of Super Bikes with host Jason Britton. If you're not a biker, you're just missing it. Catch an all new season of Super Bikes beginning Tuesday, 10 Eastern, part of Premier Week on Speed. Hey, think I got here by sitting on my butt all day playing video games? Come on, get out there on a Honda. Who knows? Maybe one day some kid will be playing you. The Honda CRF F Series. Unplug your kids. Get great financing plus bonus bucks on CRF Fs during the Good to Go sales event. Beautiful wood carving. It's inspired, and having the know how makes all the difference. Now it's easy for everyone with the Craftsman CompuCarve Woodworking Machine. It lets anyone craft wood like a pro. Start on your PC and open a library of beautiful designs or create your own. It's as easy as pointing and clicking. Transfer them to the CompuCarve and watch it turn your ideas into elegant wood carvings. Simple shapes, intricate designs, and everything in between. Take your creativity to the next level. Call 1-800-842-4499 or go online and see what it can do. The Craftsman CompuCarf comes with two carbide bits, memory card, and software. On sale, save $100. Right now for 12 months, no interest, no payments. Plus, get free home delivery only through this exclusive TV offer. There's a world of difference between a piece of wood and a piece of art. Nothing inspires you to take things to the next level like Craftsman Know How. Welcome back to Richmond, Ontario in the Sandali MX Park. Yeah, Colton Fasciotti gets the world distributing hole shot. Let's get to our top 10 from that first MX1 moto. Let's go down to fifth with Kyle Keyes, seventh for Davenport, 11 Dubé in eighth, Lockhart in ninth, and Holmans in tenth. I didn't get the best start I wanted, but you know what? It's a long moto. It's 35 minutes. Uh, it's 30 plus 2, but it ends up being 35, 36. I knew it was a long race. I know I'm in a fairly good shape, and I uh, have no pressure for the championship. I'm just going out there to prove uh, everyone that I'm still uh, still the, one of the fastest guys here. So uh, I rode, uh, you know, I think I rode a pretty easy race. It wasn't too, uh, too hard. I didn't push too hard. Okay, Brian to the fifth and final round of the Suzuki Women's Pro Nationals on the Sandalee track. And we had a special guest this weekend, number 14, Sarah Whitmore from Michigan, blazing fast in that first photo. But how about our partner there from Michigan, Maura Weiss on the 62? Uh-oh, we got some problems for Amy. And Weiss on that two-stroke. Boy, does that bring back memories here in that thing on the point. And she was fast, but Sarah Whitmore, the class of the field in the first moto, Sarah was smiling after that win. To the second moto, reminiscent of Gopher Dunes. Whitmore had a problem early, and all of a sudden, Heidi Cook was way out in front. Then Sarah had to make a whole bunch of passes. Let me tell you how exciting this photo was, Brian. Sarah Whitmore was on the pipe. She was possessed. She gets by Hackett, and then with one lap left, she came up on Heidi, and they battled tooth and nail to the checkers. Heidi remained strong and held her off, but look at these girls ride. Look at the aggression. I'm telling you, this sport for the women has evolved enormously. These two girls ride at the intermediate level. Look at them just throw the bike around. They're strong, and they control all these 250F machines. All the Cowie team was on there saying, get wide, Heidi. She held on and took the win, getting the overall, securing the championship. Brian Heidi Cook gets the number one plate, getting her plate there from Andre Lord, Jolene Van Voot in second place, and Missy Hackett, the next star in women's motocross in third. Great job, Heidi. Hats off to Suzuki for promoting that women's series. Nice shot of Machine Racing's Kareem Fitzgerald from South Africa. 
TV Speed Weeks is back. Be there as we launch Speed HD with 100 hours of coverage from Daytona. Direct TV Speed Weeks continues tonight. NASCAR on Speed. Be there. Geico built Mike Wallace this great garage, but I'm the future of racing. Shouldn't you be in school? The schooling is about to begin, my friend. It's my way or the highway. If you're remodeling any portion of your house, you can't afford to miss this information. It's the information retailers don't want you to see. Our whole entire house of cabinetry was going to come to a little over $60,000. Direct buy came back with $38,000, so the savings is almost too, too good to be true. One of the estimates that we had gotten was $10,000 to redo this small bathroom. It ended up costing us, with everything, including labor, under $3,000. Just on our kitchen alone, we saved almost $10,000. It adds up to about a $30,000 to $40,000 savings overall. Call the number on your screen now to receive your free insider's guide to buying direct. Plus, you'll also receive a free visitor's pass for an exclusive tour of your local direct buy showroom. Call the number on your screen right now to get started buying the direct buy way. Stop paying retail and become part of direct buy, the private members only showroom and design center. Don't wait another minute. Pick up the phone and call now. Richmond, Ontario is the home of the Sandalee MX Park, managed by MX101, doing a great job here today. Second MX2 and the final MX2 moto of the MX2E series on the line. This one will be brought to us by MX Performance Magazine. Great shot at number 39, Nick Evano, who had an awesome moto in that first one. Still with that huge blister on his head, you know he's riding hurt. 40 riders on the line as Tasha goes to five. That's a lovely sight. Riders waiting for that five to go sideways. Get those throttles pinned. Focus down on the gate, Brian. It is down. Who's going to get down real on the Cindy Hill? Yeah. It's go time in Moto 2. Looks like Evano with a great oh. jump. Oh, there's carnage again. Look at this. Mark Antoine Genru can't buy a break here at Santa Lee. But looks like, yes, Evano with the shot. Carly finally from MTF in Georgia gets a good start. Up and over the tunnel, and look who's in third place, number 134. That's Kawasaki's Ryan Blizzard. Boy, he's been on the gas today, Brian. Blizzard from New York State getting great starts here at Santa Lee, up in the mix for sure. But I gotta like Carly. His title chances were dashed with that moto crash in the first one. He's all about the redemption here at number two. Remember, Freddie Carly's on his third team so far this season. He's rode for MTF, he's rode for Homans, and now he's riding for that Rockstar Ocean team. That is correct, yes. On uh, Suzuki, though, looking good on that yellow bike, and I know Colleen Millsap's really proud of him as a longtime student down there in Georgia. With the boys bundling through the Scott Lockoff camp to our leader, number 39, Nick Evano, who's starting to open up a huge gap on second place, Carly. There's the battle for third, Blizzard in third, and number 198, Jacob Saylor on the Simon Holmes Racing in fourth. Good to see Jay Burke with a good start as well on that label at Honda, but to see Evano's line through here, very creative. I think he skipped over the berm, but out there, he found some really good smooth dirt and some good traction. Michael Willow with a horrible start as we also see Davey Frazier way back in the pack. Okay, let's get to our lead package. Evano starting to open up. Wow. This kid has got blistering speed. He's starting to make up for lost ground from rounds one and two. Getting back to second place, Carly. Third place, Blizzard. And here comes Sailor on the inside. Wow, Sailor's all over Blizzard here. Blizzard getting a wealth of experience here today. But look at Evano. He's just gapping the field on lap one. Incredible. He is riding possessed. Things are heating up. This is just inside the top 20. A bunch of riders oh, oh. battling for position. Ooh, and Fraser pays the price. Ooh, a little handlebar burn on the roughest roses. That never feels good. Ooh, he's not digging that action. That one had to hurt back to the battle for third place. Number 134, Blizzard checks back on Sailor as he goes outside. Man, I'm telling you what, Brian, experience says do not look back. Exactly. Stay in your line and focus. Big time, big time. He's still in fourth, though, which is really good. Here's the guy, Trevor Hall, having a great ride as well. Medaglia without 
good starts today, making it up on hole. This is for seventh place. The Dags has got to pick it up, but he's looking good to get third in the overall because of his three arrivals having that bad first moto. Tyler Medaglia is so aggressive on the bike, Brian, and as the season has progressed, he is more aggressive on the bike. I love the way he rides the 250F. Oh, my, look at that on the outside. Number 198, Sailor takes care of number 952. That's Freddie Carley and takes second place. Oh, boy, Sailor's on a tear. He's got by Blizzard, and now he's just got by Carly. That's an aggressive pass. You see passes made there. That is one of the fastest orders on the track. I'm telling you, Carly's going to maybe follow Sailor around, find some lines. Battle for six. Getting interesting as well. There goes Medallia. He's starting to find his flow. He's getting the lines. As this track gets rougher, his experience here on this track is going to be paying larger dividends. Slips by Jay Burke, who is in fifth place. And, of course, Burke was also battling for that third place spot. Brian, there was second and third. We just saw Sailor and Carly. Oh, my. Oh. Tyler Medaglia is on the pipe ride as he swings by number 134. Blizzard, he is all about this track. See him accelerate into the turns. I like that. The aggression. He is actually up shifting and gassing. Oh, turns it out. Oh, oh. there is oh. our leader, Nick Evano, who had about 10 seconds on second place. He is off to the side of the track. We'll have to get a report on what happened there. There's Michael Willard. There it is. Clearing that tabletop. Blizzard does it. Willard moves in for the kill. Willard in the fifth right now with Evano getting out of the race. Back to Medaglia on the outside. He's got Traveling in his sights. Remember, Traveling sitting in second. Did you see the checkoff? I don't think that Tyler Medaglia can be denied in this track. Oh, what a move. He has got some lines on this track, Brian. That's the crisscross into a big power slide. Keeps the pass on. Going around the outside. What's going to happen here? We've seen a lot of slingshot crisscross action here. Trombley looks over. Look over. Looks like he's safe, though, for now. But we know Medaglia's got the lines out here. Look at him accelerate oh. into that berm. Look how smooth that outside line is. Just like Mom's honey cake. <laughs> Oh, our former leader, number 39, Nick Evano, definitely with a hand problem. Brian, you know what I love about this track? You've got to use those outside lines to carry speed. I don't like that inside line. No, and there's more bumps there, but that outside line is starting to get a big bump on the exit, so it's getting nasty as well. This whole track, like I said earlier, as it gets rougher, line choice comes to the forefront. It's the guys who can keep their eyes open, or the guys making passes. Willard's caught right up the trombley for fourth round, but the battle is hot for second right here and now. Carly on the inside gets blocked by that oh. leopard. Damn, he's furious, Brian. Oh. And Medaglia swings by and takes second. Oh, that's infuriating with that inside line. It hurts so much to lose the position because of a lapper, especially when you ride so hard into the later stages. Jacob Sailor out front right now, cruising on the little oh. bike. He has been spectacular oh. on the 450 in Supercross, getting great results. He hasn't rode a little bike for years out here in Canada. Just loving it. On that Simon Holman's racing Yamaha, you better believe it, 952 Carly does not look good. Willard on the outside, carrying speed. Carly still dejected from that lapper action, and Willard makes third place happen. Ooh, and Carly just takes a baseball in that monster turn. Yikes, eating some roots. Number 25, Tyler Medaglia in second place, getting his last lap flag. And here is our leader, number 198, Jacob Saylor. Right, he's been in the mix, but he hasn't been in the lead. And here he comes. He's only a point away from getting the checkers. Great to see him cap off the season with a win. He deserved it here today, Mark. Oh, baby, who doesn't like Canadian motocross? It's coming right back on speed. <laughs> Change it up a bit, and you're sure to get a reaction. Don't let erectile dysfunction slow things down. Viva Viagra! Viagra, America's most prescribed ED treatment, can help you enjoy a more satisfying sexual experience. To learn more, cruise on over to Viagra.com. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Don't take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain, as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects may include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease in vision or hearing. Now's the time to get moving and ask your doctor if Viagra is right for you. If you think about
about it. This is the trouble with most job search sites. When you let everyone play, nobody wins. Join the Ladders, the premium job site for only 100K plus jobs and only 100K plus people. The team needs some hotel rooms? I'm on it. We just can't afford to take everyone. Don't touch that mouse. No, wait. Look, I'm here to help. I can get rooms for the whole team, all at half off. Wow, too much pain. Save up to half off on hotels at Priceline. Simon Holman's Racing's number 198, Jacob Saylor, with a great finish. Let's get to our leaderboard, second MX2 Moto. Let's go down to 10th and Kevin Benoit with a great ride. Billy Ainsworth, the 9th. Jeremy Medaglia in 8th. Jay Burke in 7th. And Karen Fitzgerald in 6th. Number 25, Tyler Medaglia! Give it up for this kid right here. Tyler, the number three spot. Well deserved, my friend. I'm, I'm just so happy with, you know, everything this year, my team, my mechanic, you know, my family, every, all of you guys for being here and cheering me on. It feels so good. Number two, Tim Trombley. Give it up for this kid right here. Outstanding. Two E's, Tim. Tasha's got your trophy. Uh, I want to be a top five this year, but uh, after Garfield Dunes, I take uh, confidence. Confidence? Confidence. And after that, I just work so hard, and I, I don't know, I finish second. Michael Willard takes the MX2 East Championship in style. Rico Ferrer from Monster Energy presenting the number one play, Tasha, with the trophy. Michael Willard, outstanding job, my friend. Talk to us about the emotion you're feeling right now with your second number one play in Canada. You know, it's good. Uh, you know, first moto, I, I kind of wanted to wrap it up, and, uh, you know, that's what I did. And, and then I, I got that out of the way, so I wasn't too nervous for the second moto. Uh, it's good. You know, I've been up here for three years, and, and every year it just keeps getting better and better. The tracks get better, you know. They seem to switch it up a little bit, and, uh, you know, today was awesome. You know, an epic day. It was, you know, it was nice and hot out, and humidity, make you sweat. But, uh, you know, the track was real good, MX101, and everybody did a good job, CMRC, so I'd like to thank all those guys and, and all the fans, too. You know, you guys were awesome. You guys all the way around the track and everything just cheering on, so it was good. There's a fine-looking MX2 East final podium, Medaglia, Trombley, and Willard. MX1 boys up next. I have overwhelming urges to compete. I own you! There are a lot of guys just like me. Now there's a cure. All right, let's race! They lose this race, they lose their ride. Pigs premieres Wednesday, 9 Eastern, 10 Pacific, part of Premier Week on Speed. Mahindra customers often tell us that our tractor's performance is somewhat of an art form. 